So yeah, I'm still a little pretty fucking disgusted over last night's little ordeal with the fucking pizza place. Now, first off, <clears throat> I don't even know how the hell that's even legal. Well, in fact, probably Republicans may. I'm going to blame Republicans on this, because, first off, they don't give a flying fuck about the little guy. They never have. It's all about, can the big corporation make more money? The more bank the bitch make, the better they are. It's like, 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 like seriously, like Turtle Mitch is, is you know, he, a man don't get erect for nothing, but his little neck comes out, he's like, oh, money, oh, money, oh, he don't give a fuck. I blame them. And this isn't some liberal rant, oh, you're just a liberal. No, this isn't some liberal rant, I mean, it's a fact. They don't give a flying fuck about me. Now, how the hell can a business take two months' worth of charges and just charge you all at one time? Like, we're talking like 200 bucks. I don't get that. I really don't get that. That should be illegal. But, whatever. Anyway, I have nothing else to talk about other than I'm really... I'm really pissed off about that. Because you got to understand, having no family and having literally no Christmas, I extend my Christmas out to, like, October. So, like, you got October, November, December. So I get a couple things in October, a few things in November. It's like it's like an extended Christmas to me. It even extends into January. Because, you know, it's just, I spread it out. So, having my bank account just completely raped... Because, again, I had a, I had a really cool uh, Batman graphic novel that was going to come. Really excited for that. I've, dude, I've been wanting to read that for a long... And, again, I, I purchased issue number one, which cost me, like, 12 bucks. And this, this came out, like, last year. I was going to get issue number two, but I can't right now because it's 40 bucks, and I just didn't feel like paying 40 bucks for one comic book. For some reason, it went up, and it's hard to find. But I ended up getting uh, issues 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8 over the last couple months. I mean, some of them were like 6 bucks, some of them were 10 bucks. You know, it, it, for some reason, this particular uh, White Knight issues went... <sighs> Which, I mean, is good on some level, but I came in late, so it means I had to pay for what they were right now, not what they were at cover price, because if I got them at $4... And the one's like $40, that's, you know, a decent jump, you know what I'm saying? Whatever. So, I've been really excited to read this thing. And, when I found out there was the graphic novel coming out, I pre-ordered that shit like three months ago. So, I've been, I've been, I've been having a little, little, little tender spot for this fucking thing for a while now. And I just got the, it was... It was last month I got the last two issues that I need. Well, except for two. So I have one one through eight minus two, basically. Uh, I will pick up two at some point. Just to have the entire six. I actually wouldn't mind like putting that up on the wall. Because they're really cool covers. <clears throat> Whatever. Like I said, I didn't want to touch the damn things. Because I paid... I mean, the first one I paid 12 bucks for. And I, I just didn't want to take it out and like paw it over and read it that way. It's like, the less I touch it, the better. Because, you know, it is what it is. So that was like that was like the opening moment of my Christmas. Because, again, you got to understand, I have nothing. So I have to kind of make things happen for myself, if that makes sense. <clears throat> so I had to cancel that. Then we had Luigi's Mansion for 3DS, which was going to be really fun because... I'm a fan of the game. I like the series. It's it's just really it's fun. It's just a decent little series, and it's October. It just it was you know, it's like a little. It was one of those little cartoony, spooky things. You got the little booze running around the the mansion, and Luigi's trying to get him like a Ghostbuster. You know, it's it's Hollow fucking Ween. You know what I mean? It's just it's the perfect time for it. Well, I had to cancel that. Again, I went through all this last night, but I'm just, you know, reiterating my frustration at reality. And then the big kick in the dick was was freaking Red Dead Redemption, which I have been watching and, and hotly anticipating for <clears throat> quite a while now. And I think I'm just going to get the digital version, because I want the physical version, because I want it in my collection. 
But I just, I don't want to wait. I mean, it's bad enough, it's bad enough that I had to wait all this month. <clears throat> like, it's coming out in October, it's October, but it's late October. And the idea that I have to wait from, like, October 1st to, like, October 26th, it, that in and of itself, that's like telling a kid, oh, we'll go to Toys R Us next week. You know, you got four kids. You don't do that. That's just shit you don't do. You may have to, you know, because of money and whatnot, but that's just shit you don't do. That's going to fuck the kids up. That's going to piss the kids off. And it would piss you off, too. Even even as an adult, you something like that would just irritate you. You know it would. You, you know, because my mother did that to me. Now, she didn't have the money at the time. She's like, we'll do it next week. Well, next week ain't now, bitch. You know, it's just, it, it, it's, and it isn't one of those grat- self-gratification in the moment thing. It's just, <clears throat> I mean, it is to a point, but it's not in a selfish way. It's just, I want to do this now. Not tomorrow, not next week. This do what I'm in the mood for right this minute. And again, it's not, I don't want to say it's a self-gratification, because it is, but it isn't. <clears throat> You know what I mean? It's like, I may not be in the mood to do it next week. You know, especially now that I'm older. It's like, somebody says, oh, you want to go do something? No, I don't. I might be in the mood to have a pizza party right now. Ten minutes from now, I might not. You know? It's just, I don't know. So, that shit to bed. Which now means that everything I was going to do, because you understand, I'm I I'm like right now I'm thinking November, because I go month to month. I live month to month on the budget. So I'm already thinking November. It's it's the eighth of October, and I'm I'm already done with October. Now, I, because I had things coming throughout the month, it was like okay, well I'll live to that moment. I'll live to the next moment. 28, 26 is coming. I'll live to that moment. It gave me stuff to live for. Now that that's just completely taken away, I have nothing to live for until, you know, November. And then I had plans for November of stuff I needed to do. I had, there's stuff I need to actually do. Like legitimate stuff, not like, oh, I need to buy a video game or I needed the. No, there's, I mean, there's, I do. I'm going to do that, but. There's stuff I needed to do. Let's just put it that way. There's stuff that I needed to do. Just basic stuff. And one of them is, yes, renewing a subscription. You know, so I, I've got to do that. There's stuff around the apartment I need to get. There's things I need to do. Now, that's going to be hindered because of all the backlash of this month. Has to now carry over into November, which is going to fuck everything up. So no, I got to buy October's games in uh, November. The games I was going to get in November, they're going to have to wait until December. And the games I was going to get in December are going to have to wait until January. <clears throat> so again, it's like this, this huge this huge backlash of bullshit because of this fucking retardation. I don't understand how it's even remotely possible that that even was a thing. <clears throat> how can you charge somebody for something... Two months and you know, two months ago, that's just bullshit to me. And then do it all at one time. And again, I know for a fact that August charge because I ordered out five times between August. Well, actually, I ordered out a couple couple more times, but those came through. I ordered out five specific times between mid August and all of September. Which, I don't think it's that bad. Five times in, in, in two months, basically. Although, realistically, I think I did it five, six, seven, maybe eight times. Or maybe I did, like, four times. No, not even that. It was seven times. <clears throat> and, like I said, one of which was SummerSlam weekend. So, I purposely made a deal of that, you know. That's why I spent as much money as I did. Because it was just one of those... You know, it's one of WWE's big top four pay-per-views of the year. Like, if it was WrestleMania, I would I would buy pizza and wings and, you know, the salad and all that bullshit. I'd spend like 50 bucks <clears throat> and purposely do it. 
because, like, I'd be buying pizza all the time. I'd buy, like, five or six pizzas a week if I could. But that shit's, like, $15 a pop, and it's like, I can't do that. So, you got a $15 fucking pizza. You got $15 wings. That's, like, 30 bucks right there. A $7 and a pasta. Now you're talking into the 40s. You need a drink. That's th- They charge 3 bucks for a fucking 2 liter. So, yeah, actually, $2.80 for a 2 liter of Pepsi. Fucking highway fucking robbery. And then if I wanted any, like, uh, appetizers or anything like that, like mozzarella sticks or something, again, it's just, you know. I have that shit for lunch and dinner and then the next morning. Sometimes it doesn't always make it till the next morning, I admit. But, you know, whatever. But I know for a fact that shit, came, that shit was in my account. Because every time I order out, I purposely go back and look and say, did that come, did, is, that, is that showing up on my account? And I go to the website, it says it's there, and I don't think about it after that. Because it's already deducted it. It may not have trans, you know, the, the transaction may not have actually occurred, <clears throat> but it's showing up. They billed me, and when everything goes through, this is how much money I have left. And that's how I live my life. This is how much money I have left. How much do I have left? Right here. Well, I know for a fact that $50 came out. I don't know if it came out. It actually didn't come out. But it showed up on my account. Because that's what happened mid-September. Uh, the first two orders that I made showed up. And then the last one didn't show up. That one I knew about. So there's at least one of the five that I knew about. And that was like 20, 23 bucks. 20, 23, 30 bucks, somewhere in there. Fine. I could I could have absorbed that. But to find out that shit from halfway through August. I, I just I don't I don't get it. I just it how does it happen, you know? <sighs> I don't know, man. So anyways, needless to say, after listening back to my clip, I admit the clip did get a little boring around the 25-minute mark where I'm going through the the emails, and I'm going through the, because uh, they send an email, because, you know, that's what they do. And I was, I was looking to see, because I, I wanted to make sure I wasn't being, like, double-charged, like, oh, there's $50 here, and then there's $50 there. No, they didn't double charge me. I mean, that's the thing. They were owed the money, but it's just the money should have come out two months ago. Because, again, at the it, get a refresh, you know, every time a new month comes around, it's like everything from the month before you put to the side. It should already have been dealt with. And, and it's not that I wasn't paying attention. I was paying attention. I really was. Because, again, I see it there, and then it, sometime during the month it disappears. Now, I'm not going to go back and look through every single solitary thing and say, oh, well, pseh. you know. Once I see it there, I registered it, okay, it's there, it's coming out. And this is what I have left. So that I, I work accordingly based upon what I have left. And I don't I think I've done anything wrong there yet. All of a sudden, oh, yeah, we can just charge you 100 and some odd fucking almost $200 in one fell swoop because we decided we were going to change our freaking website because, you know, it wasn't, you know, not like it was really good before. Fucking stupid. Absolutely asinine bullshit. I'm going to complain. I am. I'm absolutely going to complain. <clears throat> Again, it was money they were owed. I'm not saying that. But just the way they handled it, it's bullshit. Absolute bullshit. Charge somebody two months after the fact. It's just, I don't know, that's just crappy. That's just shitty to me. Especially when you're going to rape somebody's bank account all at one time. Now imagine if this happened a week ago. And I didn't have the money in there. What the fuck? They would have completely ruined my bank account. I just, I don't know, man. That, that's just shitty practices right there. They changed their shit, and then I gotta pay for it. Literally. I, I just, I don't get it. I, I it, and For like two months, dude. It was a month and a half of just, no, I'm sorry. 
That's bullshit. That's bullshit. I don't know. It just it irritates me. It infuriates me and it irritates me. And it's not a good combination. And I don't. I don't. To be honest, with you, I don't know what else to talk about because that, that's the only thing on my mind right now is the fact that they completely raped my fucking bank account. They 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 raped my Christmas. They raped my bank account. They raped everything about me. And again, yeah, it pisses me off because the last time I ordered. I usually get a sub, and I'll either get, well, for like 20 bucks, I can get a, a large sub, which lasts me all day, I get lunch and dinner on that shit, and I get either like french fries, actually I can get french fries and I can get onion rings, for like 19 something, like 1996 I think it is. Or I could mix and match. Or I could take out the onion rings and french fries. And for like a dollar cheaper, I could get one of those combo platters. I still get the I still get some, some onion rings. I get the chicken pieces and the chicken strips. And I get the uh, mozzarella sticks. So sometimes I do that. That's like seven something. Because the other two are four. So it's like eight something. So it's like, you know, at least a dollar fifty cheaper to do it that way. Plus you get a little bit of, you know, different variety. So you got like a, a sub with like a little chicken strip, you got a little mozzarella stick. It's just, it pisses me off that they constantly try to screw me. Because the combo platter comes with marinara fucking sauce. I talked about this in the last clip. I don't give a fuck. I just want to piss off about right now. It comes with goddamn marinara sauce. And then for 55 cents more, I can buy another little container of it. And I did. I bought a second container. Thank God I did because they didn't give me my original container. So instead of having two, I had one. Oh, because I bought, I, I did buy three breadsticks. And I wanted the marinara for the breadsticks. Plus the marinara that was supposed to come with my uh, mozzarella sticks. They only give me one. They're always trying to shortchange me shit. There were times I didn't even get my soda. Like, I bought the two-liter. This is this happened a couple times, and I didn't get the freaking two-liter. They charged me, they took my money, and they didn't give it to me. I, I mean, I should... <sighs> then the last fucking sub that I bought literally had one piece of meat on it. it, it I got a mixed sub, and it's supposed to have, like, salami and uh, ham. There's literally one piece of ham across the entire bottom... And one piece of uh, salami across the top. It's like, are you kidding me? I'm paying like $9 for this fucking thing. You can give me a couple pieces of meat. That's just cheap shit right there. Absolute bullshit. They're always going cheap. I don't want to complain because I don't want them shitting in my food. Because the only ones in town that does web order. Which also pisses me off. You understand, I don't use the phone. I don't do phone. I don't like the phone. I don't like calling people. I just don't. There's something, it's a mental fucking issue, and I can't do it. Like, I can't go over there and pick up the phone and just start calling people. I know you don't get that. I know other people don't get that. But there's a legitimate, I don't know if it's a phobia or whatever it is, but there's a legitimate mental issue that people have. When it deals with the phone, I like if somebody calls me, I'm fine. But if I gotta pick up the phone and be like, "Hey, how you doing? Can I give you an order?" No, it just that it, it freaks me out. I can't do it. I can't. I can't breathe. I hyperventilate. I start to panic. I don't know what it is. I have. I'm having this this panic bullshit lately, and it's just all these little fucking problems keep kicking me in the cocks, and I can't help myself. It's a mental fucking thing. Cause again, you gotta understand, I'm I am here alone. My entire family is dead. The next one to die on the list is me or Dale T. That's it. We're the only two left. And Dale T's 70. And I'm on death's door to begin with. So, you know, it's just shit like that. And I, I think about that. And I dwell on that. And I start to panic. I can't breathe. I overwork myself. I can't breathe. And then I can't take deep breaths, and then I start to panic over that. I mean, dude, I started panicking over stupid shit. Like, I mentioned this one other time. 
I swear to God, this happened, and I, I'm not kidding. It was around 6 o'clock at night. This is probably back in November. It was 6 o'clock at night, and it was starting to get dark. And I, I looked out the window, and I was like, I'm not going to see daylight for another 12 hours. I literally started to panic. Like, to the point I can't breathe. I had to stop myself and say, what the fuck is that about? What, what the hell do I care? And it's just, it's like, it's like this thing in my chest. And it's like, like this huge weight is just like laying right over my, my sternum. And it's like, I, I can't deal with it. Just little things like, it's dark out and I gotta wait 12 hours to see the daylight. And it just, I, I can't, I can't describe it. And when I, when I listen to myself say it, and when I'm living through it, I realize it's stupid. I'm like, this is stupid. I should not be, this shouldn't be a thing. I shouldn't be worried about this stuff. But yet I am, and I don't know what it is. You know, it's like you, you, you're living alone. You have no one, and you know, it's I can't help but think the worst. And by doing that, then it's just something else, and then something else, and something else, and all these little bullshit fucking problems add on, and there's this and that. And it, 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 it. Next thing you know, all these little tiny problems, literally, it's literally one of those death by a thousand cuts kind of a deal. To the point where it's like, <laughs> like I have a hard time making it up the fucking stairs now. Do you understand that? I can't make it up the fucking stairs. I have to stop halfway through and just just sit there and catch my breath. Because if I don't, well, I, mean, I can make it up the stairs. But when I get back upstairs, all of a sudden, I'm okay. And then once I sit down, it's like everything rushes forward. It's like my heart starts pounding. My heart wasn't pounding before. I mean, it was obviously was to a point. But, you know, and then all of a sudden, the minute I rest and sit down, it's like, okay, I'm, I'm upstairs. Everything's fine. All of a sudden, it's like. My heart is just like, boom, 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 boom. I hear it, and it's like, it's going a mile a fucking minute. And then I can't take deep breaths, and I'm like, Ugh! and then I start fucking panicking, and it just, it freaks me the fuck out. And I don't know what to make of all that. Because it's mental bullshit is what it is. You know? And it sucks. It really fucking sucks. I mean, you gotta have this bullshit, this, this random fucking idiocy where, like, it's just 200 bucks just gets raped out of my account. I mean, I, I don't. I, I, I mean, that's it. I mean, I got nothing else to say. I don't know, man. I, j I just wish things were simple. I, I just wish my life was simple. I try not to even get out of bed some days. I, it's, it's just, but no, I, I can't even have that. But today I woke up. My fucking back is tight as fuck. Like the muscles are just like, just like, fuck you. It's like in the middle of the back too. So, it, which is okay because you gotta understand regular back pain. Like a lot of that same deal to you is like. I got back pain. I got back pain too. I know what it's like. No, Dale T, you don't know what it's like. I have regular back pain right now. I'm cool with it. I can deal with that. It's up in the middle of my back. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> you know? With the amount of pain that I live in on a regular basis, having normal pain just because, okay, my the muscles in the upper middle of the back, like just under the shoulder blades, are, is like stiff and tight I can deal with it I don't like it obviously but I can deal with it as opposed to all the normal fucking pain of the lower back that just I mean the lower back goes out I mean that's that's like your your, your core that shit goes out you're done that's it you're on the ground literally I like that white so goddamn stuffy and it's, it's like this, this musty smell up here something to do with that air conditioner Something to do with the air conditioner. I don't know if I gotta change the oil in the fucking thing. Like, I think there's, I think it builds water up. And I gotta take, I gotta empty it. I'm not going to, but <sighs> whatever. I don't know. Whatever. I don't want to talk about that stuff. But uh, 
it's just this constant retardation. It's just that's all it is. And then the few little moments of like like happiness that I have have to be completely ripped out from underneath me because now I have no money for that shit. It's just I'm tired of having no money. It's like I, I literally break even. In the few times I get a few things that really are important to me, no. No, I got six dollars left. Can't do those things. You understand, I live from those moments to moment. You know? Again, I was supposed to get... The 15th was supposed to was supposed to be the uh, comic book. And then... I don't know, actually, whatever it was. Actually, they just took it out, so it means they went to ship it. Whatever, I don't know. I think they may have shipped it Saturday. I don't know, whatever. But I was supposed to get that. And then I was supposed to get the Ouija. And then two weeks later, I was supposed to get... Red Dead Redemption 2, and it's just, now I ain't gonna get jack shit, and it's just, and again, I don't mean that in a selfish way, like, oh, I want this, and I gotta get this, and I want, 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 no, it's not about want, 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 it's a matter of, do I want to put a gun in my fucking mouth, or do I want to try to have moments of, let me live to that next moment, you know what I mean, because right now, I literally have nothing to live for, now, I'm not saying that in a depressing sort of way, I'm saying that in a legitimate sort of way, Cause you can understand, I'm a realist. I, I understand that like everyone's life around me would be better if I was dead. They could literally rent this apartment probably three times more than what I'm paying. My father wouldn't have to come up here every two weeks. Save gas and money for him. So, I mean, the fact that that if I were dead, everyone life's around me would be better. It would. You might get a little poo pooey. There's no, there's no more clips, but you got like thousands of hours, so you you be you be good for another decade, and still have brand new stuff practically. You know, you can go back and listen to stuff from like ten years ago. You know, so it's like I never left because you know, what the fuck. So even that, it's still questionable because. And again, I'm not saying this in a depressing, like, oh, feel sorry for me, boo-hoo. No, I mean, I'm just saying it as an actual fact. It's like, sometimes you have to look at your life and realize it ain't getting any better. Because I realized that at, like, age five. Honestly, God, I looked down. I'm, I'm dead serious. I was sitting in the chair, and I looked down at my penis. And I said, it ain't getting any better. It had nothing to do with the penis. I just, I just remember looking down toward the, the like, the... The, the genital region, not that I was looking at it, but specifically, I was looking down toward it. Like, like I was, for some reason, I was looking down at the chair, like down at my feet. And I just remember thinking, this ain't getting any better. My life ain't getting any better. And I was like, I don't know, three years old, four years old. And I thought, my life ain't getting any better. And I'll be honest with you, I think that was the moment of clarity. You can understand, when I was like five, I was, I was thin. You know, and all of a sudden it was just... Well, a lot of that problem, seriously, was was the back issue. Because it's just... It started to progressively get worse. And, of course, I didn't even know there was an issue other than the fact that I had back pain. I just thought it was normal. You know? And... You don't want to be in pain, so you do less stuff. You try less to try to make the pain not happen, you know, and then as you do, you start to gain weight, you gain weight, you get depressed, you get depressed, you start eating even worse, because that's the only thing that gives you any comfort, the next thing you know, you're a rotund piece of shit like I am right now, who's bitter and dead inside, so, fuck reality, you know, <clears throat> it's just, I, 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 you know, again, I'm not, I'm not trying to sound poo pooey. I really am not. I'm actually upbeat right now, believe it or not. I mean, acknowledging my flaws, of which there are many, and I'm not afraid to discuss them, I just, I don't know. I, I really don't know. So, like, like, what else is there to talk about right now? I, I don't know. I have to, I have to go the rest of the freaking month with nothing. Forget the stuff I wanted to do. The fact that I have six dollars in my account and I pretty Christ there's nothing else coming out. 
because I have no other money. I, I literally have no other no other funds at all. None. Nothing. You understand me? I have nothing left. Thankfully, food is bought. I didn't pay my electric. I didn't pay it. Now, luckily, it was up to date, so I can be a month behind. It sucks. But it is what it is. <sighs> I don't know, man. I just, I, I just don't understand why stuff like this has to happen to me. And I know worse things happen to other people. I get it. I get it, but it's just constant. These death by a thousand cuts. These little tiny bullshit things. Just, why does it have to happen to me? I mean, what, do I have to go out and like, like, like sexually assault a woman just to get on the presidential ticket? I mean, is that the, 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 the is that the moral of this fucking story? Assault women and get everything. Try to mind your own fucking business, get raped every fucking chance you can. I, I don't understand that. I really, that is something about life I don't fucking get. I understand, you know, God's love and grace, it, it rains down on the just and the unjust and blah, blah, blah. Well, it's all bullshit. That's all bullshit. I'm sorry, that is all bullshit. It's made up bullshit. Okay, I'm not saying God's made up, but I'm saying a lot of the excuses that we give God are made up. You know, I'm sorry, if God is God, then he needs to be God and stop being an asshole. Stop dicking me around. Just, I'm sorry, that's how I, what I feel right now, because it pisses me off. And yes, I do blame God. You know? It's just, I, it, again, let's talk about that. That irritates the bejesus out of me, too, because... Okay, if God created the fishbowl and dumped the water in, in other words, the water is going to take on the form of said fishbowl, as in it's going to, to curve to the, 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 the curvature of what was there. So in other words, the parameters that were set, he himself designed, and everything kind of adheres to that. So the idea that the parameters that were set were basically set in motion to fuck me I, I don't get that. I, I just don't get that. I don't understand that. Why? Why of all the things between and, you know? Think about all the laws, gravity, and and just just thermodynamics, and all of that bullshit. And it is all bullshit. Let's be honest. It's all bullshit. Time and space. It's all bullshit. It's all put into place to fuck me. That's it. And not just me, other people too, but I'm talking about me right now, because it's my clip. It's my life. The only reason God allowed me to exist was to fuck me. And don't tell me it's not okay. Have you considered my servant Job today? The only reason Job existed was so that God could fuck him over. Judas, the only reason he existed was to fuck everybody over. That's it. The only reason he existed. He's fulfilling God's will. By being a prick. And now he's a bad guy going to hell. I don't understand that. I really, for the love of Christ, do not get how I'm supposed to fulfill God's will. And yet I'm still the bad guy at the end of it all. I don't know, man. It just, it, it just seems like if God really truly loved me. Instead of giving me mundane, stupid, pointless shit, like, I'm sorry, treasures in heaven, which are just... That is so generic. It's treasures in heaven. What the fuck are... Oh, what a... Uh, what? What? A robe and a crown? Ooh, boy. yippity yeah, yo, hey, a crown. Yeah, what the fuck do I give a cocksuck about a fucking crown? I'd pawn that fucking shit for a video game as soon as I could. I I don't know. I don't get it. I don't get it. I'm sorry. I don't fucking get it. Because you're telling me that I'm supposed to give a flying fuck about this stuff. When right now, like if you gave me a crown, I'd tell you to go fuck yourself. I don't care who you are. You're like, oh, here's a fucking bathrobe and a fucking crown to put on your head. 
What? The fuck is that? The fuck do I give a shit about that? Give me 20 bucks and a fucking Happy Meal, and I'd be happy. Literally. You know? I just... I, I these, are, these, these are things that just make no damn sense. Well, you're thinking of the here and now. You're not thinking about the heavenly... Heavenly, uh, you know, whatever. You're right, I'm not, because I'm not there. I don't give a shit. I simply don't care. I may care in the future. See, that's the beauty of it. It's like, oh, you got to care about it now so that when you get there, you got treasures. Because once you're there, you can't get treasures anymore. Well, what the fuck is that kind of bullshit? What kind of bullshit is that? I can't get a refund? Are you fucking kidding me? What are you, fucking Republican? Maybe God is Republican. I don't know. They're assholes, so who knows? They're always trying, seriously, they're always trying to screw the little guy. You know? You think Republicans would... Yeah, seriously, the Republicans could, could make a bill where, where the little guy can't get a refund? You know they would. As long as the fucking company made money, they didn't give a flying fuck. Maybe God is Republican. I don't know. Maybe he is. Sounds like a Republican thing. I don't know, man. It's just... I want to love life. I want to love God. I want to love things. I want to love people. I want to love myself. I just can't. I just can't because it's just constant fucking bullshit. The idea that I'm going to fucking die alone irritates me. I don't know, man. I just... I don't know. It's like I don't know where to go. I don't know what to do. I got, I got, I got books nobody wants to read. I'm sorry. That shit. Some of that shit should have been made into a, a TV series by now. Should there should be movies made? They've made movies of stupid shit, like 2001: Space Odyssey. Stupid shit. Jules Verne. Stupid shit. Well, they make fucking stories of like, you know, Big Daddy Clark. There should, be, there should be a fucking miniseries of Big Daddy Clark. Yet, I don't see people jumping down the... Breaking down the door to, 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 you know, have me sign a fucking contract with them. Yet, oh, yeah, Donald Trump's book gets put into a fucking musical. Are you kidding me? Fuck you. If anybody deserves to be fucking rich, it's me, not that asshole. But, you know, hey, I can't... See, that's the problem. I can't play nice and then screw people over. I can't be like, oh, well, yeah, blah, 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 blah. Like, all these fucking YouTubers and shit. They're like, oh, it's so great. You know, they, they, they put on this fucking show, and it's like... Uh, I don't know, man. I just... I, I can't... I can't be... I can't play that. I just can't. I, I refuse to be... Fake. I refuse to be... I'd rather be an asshole than be fake. I'll tell you that right now. I'd rather be bitter and prickish than be fucking fake and be like, Hello, guys! Welcome to another exciting edition of Go Fuck Yourself on YouTube. Brought to you by the power of the internet. Bullshit. I can't... I can't get chipper bullshit like that. Not anymore. Freaking fake-ass motherfuckers is all it is. Ain't none of them got the heart to tell you that they're fucking depressed. Ain't none of them got the heart to tell you they don't give a flying fuck. They're just in it for the fucking money. I don't even care about the money. I do it for free. I don't give a fuck. As long as my bills are paid, I don't give a fuck. I, 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 see, that's the thing. I'm not a greedy motherfucker. I just want to live a normal fucking basic shit life. You know? As long as that shit's paid, I'll entertain you all fucking day. I'll put on a fucking clown suit and dance around. I'll be your fucking jester, you son of a bitch. Pay my fucking bills, that's all you gotta do. That's stupid. Absolute bullshit. It's just, I'm getting tired of it. And again, I'm, my problems are tiny. I understand that my, my problems are tiny. Again, death by a thousand cuts. I mean, shit, you got run off, you got run off the road by an old lady. You damn near died, I'm fine. I get that. You had a heart attack, damn or die. Listen, I get that. Those are two two major existence two major things that happened in your existence. 
And in between those two times, I've had like hundreds of fucking problems that just constantly just keep piling up into this big pile of bullshit that I can't help but step in. And not only do I step in, it's so fucking deep I'm swimming in this shit, literally. I don't know, man. I just, I, I, it's like the more I try, the more I fail. Because you can understand, you get all these Republicans and they're like, well, you know, I tried one job and it didn't work, but I kept at it and did another job and, well, that didn't work out either and blah, 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 blah. That's cute. You gotta understand, I don't have that kind of luck. I am meant to be where I am. I am not meant to succeed for whatever reason. I believe this, that the cosmic universe, God or whatever the fuck it is, has deemed me, deemed me either unimportant or just, I am right where God wants me to be. I don't know what that is. I don't know why that is. I don't know the purpose. I don't see the bigger picture. I can't see the bigger picture. But every time I try to benefit myself and try to make myself something better, like, Ian, you used to go into these rants about, oh, when you were 15, why didn't you do this? And why didn't you get a job? Well, I did have jobs, but I couldn't keep up, but whatever. Like, why didn't you do this? And why didn't you do that? You know why I didn't do those things? Because it wasn't in my fucking cards. It, the, the, the fucking stars did not align for me to actually be able to do that shit. you got to understand, it's not from a lack of trying. Believe me, it wasn't. It was just simply a matter of, do you want to do this? Yes. And the universe is like, yeah, well, no, fuck you. You're not going to do that. I refuse to let you do that. And the universe would not let me do the things that I wanted to do, and it's a fact. And I'm not using that as an excuse. It's a legitimate God's honest truth. You know, like Christians always talk about, oh, God opened up doors. God basically took the door, ripped it off the hinges, and shoved it up my fucking ass. And that's what happened. And that's not a joke. That's, well, maybe it is to a point, but it's still the truth. God basically said, fuck you, and you ain't doing this shit. You want to go to college? Fuck you. You know where your college money's going to go? To siding on a fucking house and a goddamn piccolo player. That's your fucking college tuition. Goddamn piccolo player. They're off playing a fucking piccolo. $10,000 scholarship to a fucking piccolo player. Yet, what did I get when my grandmother died? A shitty fucking TV that broke down in eight months. Literally, I had that fucking $1,500 3D TV for eight months, and then it shit the fucking bed. $1,500. That's what I had. And a cheap fucking computer from Walmart that was garbage. Refurbished bullshit. That was my family legacy right there. Do you understand it? Dude, this, she had she had at least fifty to a hundred thousand dollars in there. Between the fucking dude, they were stuck holding like five thousand dollars a month. And she was in there for like three years. So you do the math on that shit. You do the fucking math, and I don't <laughs> absolute bullshit fucking highway robbery bullshit is what it is somebody else got paid did I get paid? no I didn't get fucking shit I have a fucking book nobody wants to read everybody read it and said oh that's funny haha I liked it but yeah and I ain't making millions of fucking dollars off it unless you're fucking hoarding that shit you probably are you bastard I understand all because again I understand all that money's coming to, coming to you I don't know how, it doesn't seem like there had been all that much fucking uh, desire for the thing. And then some stupid bitch is giving away for fucking free on YouTube. She, she gave my book away for free. Well, the link and shit. And I'm like, the fuck is this shit? Yet, yet, let me use a song in a video. Oh, they fucking flagged that in a heartbeat. Do they flag my stuff? No. See, that's, that's, that's how it works, dude. I put stuff up. People can just give it away for free, and people can make money off my stuff. But you can, can I just make a, a a heartfelt, like, you know, somebody died, and I want to use, you know, a, a, a little piece of music in that oh no we gotta flag that we're gonna we're gonna take that down and flag your channel because you're using somebody else's content 
People use my content all the fucking time. You know how many fucking ideas that I've had that people have just taken? Like, Green Bastard Pig. I've seen Green Pigs all over the fucking place. People are stealing my fucking shit all the time. All the fucking time. I mean, seriously, Angry Birds stole my shit. Green Bastard Pigs. That's my shit. I came up with that shit, what, 2002? 2000 fucking 2? No, excuse me, no, 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 1992. Fuck me on that. I'm a fucking illiterate when it comes to time zones. 1992. These motherfuckers stole my shit. I should sue them, but no, I'm not that kind of person. See, that's the problem. I'm not that kind of person. That's why, that's why Donald Trump has all the fucking money he, he has. Because he can play up the, oh, well, blah, 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 and they're coming to get you, and we love you, and you, you know, you come play for the, the Republican team, and we'll be all friends, and yay, and then, and then, and then the minute, the minute he has to pay for something, it's like, oh, yeah, well, no, fuck you, I'm gonna go bankrupt. I'm gonna, I'm gonna file bankruptcy, fuck you, and not pay the people. So it's like, I can't do that. I don't wanna hurt people. That's the problem. He don't give a fuck if he hurts people. Making fun of their family and their their father and their wives that are ugly, they don't give a fuck about none of that shit. Like I like if you had an ugly wife and you don't, but if you did, I I couldn't sit there and say, well, you, you know, I maybe I might make a, a, a slight off the cuff joke in like one of these, you know, clips where it just might kind of slip. Well, yeah, you know, ugly wife and two ugly, you know, four ugly kids, you know, assuming that were the case, which you don't. But I'm saying if it did, you know, I might might kind of slip that in there, but. I'm not going to just come out and be like, hey, you know, your wife, she's, she's ugly, and you, you got fucking big teeth, and your your kids are just big heads, and, you know, your son looks like, you know, a curly-headed fuck. Although that one is kind of true. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> the little rat's nest on there, and the little buck teeth, and they're, I don't know, it, it looks like a cross between like you and Dale T, and it's just really weird. It looks like a miniature Dale T, and it's weird. See, like right there. Okay, I'm, I'm obviously kidding with all that, but you get my point. I, I'm not going to just come out and say that, if it were true. You know, I'm not going to come out and say that. Or Donald Trump would. Like, he'd, he'd make fun of your family, he'd make fun of the... No, don't get me wrong, I say shit once in a while. Like, I've, I've made fun of, you know... I made fun of Marv a couple times, I made fun of George, I made fun of... You know, I've, 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 I've picked jokes about that. But I'm not going to go on, like, national TV and, like, insult your entire family and be like, oh, your your dad, you know, raped JFK back in the day. Or your, da- your, your, your dad gave head to fucking Hitler. I'm not, I'm not going to come out and say that kind of stuff. You know, Marv's over there sucking one off with Hitler, you know. <laughs> Oh, that would be kind of funny, actually. <laughs> him and Palmer. <laughs> him, Paul, him and Palmer butt-banging Hitler. You know, it is what it is, and I'm not going to be doing that kind of stuff, you know? I don't need to do that kind of stuff. Like, again, I might throw in a joke like that, like I just did here, but... <sighs> again, you get my point. I mean, you talk about ruthless motherfuckers. I can't bring myself to do it. I can't be chipper and fake, and then I can't sit there and destroy people. I can't if they piss me off. Don't get me wrong. Like, like if if you irritated me, I would I would fucking wreck you and your entire family. I would, I'd say horrible things. I would. I don't care who it is. I, I, I mean, Jesus, I made my entire family cry multiple times. I made DLT cry. I made the old woman cry. I made Jean cry. I made Graham cry. I made Betsy cry. I think five. That's like five adults I've made cry. Just verbally, the things I said to them, about them. And, you know, I can't help that. I'm in pain, you get in my way, I gotta, I gotta throw you down. It's that simple, and I'm sorry. It isn't to make me feel good. It's like, oh, you're just a little man who wants to feel good by tearing down other people. No. I want to tear down other people because they deserve it. There's nothing to do with whether how I feel about it. I usually feel bad afterwards, so it's not even, it's not even that. It's just one of those constant, you know, what the fuck moments. But, <sighs> anyways, I I don't know, man. I just I I'm tired. <sighs> I need to bring. I need I need money. 
I need I need to find a way to bring money to fuck in. There's got to be something I can invest in that can give me a couple bucks each week. I'm talking like 20 bucks a week. Like, invest in something and just get 20 bucks back. I'd be happy with that. Like, I don't, I don't need a lot of money. Seriously, if I had like an extra $300 a month, man, fuck it, make it an extra $400 a month, my life would be really good. Like, really good. Like, halfway fucking decent. Like, I could actually survive, like, mentally and like just maybe get out of the house and do stuff and actually have you know money to do stuff with as opposed to the little bit that I have you know yeah I gotta buy a video game because I gotta have something to do without having to constantly be reminded of the fact that I suck that my existence as a human being sucks so yeah it's nice to be able to get a video game that I can you know escape from for a few hours every day without constantly having to be in panic attacks and, 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 you know, holy shit moments, you know. It's just, that's what it comes down to. That's why I do a lot of that stuff. It has nothing, I don't even know if I like video games. It's just simply a distraction. That's why I watch movies all the time. Because it distracts me from the fucking retardation that is my life. And most of that shit is through no fault of my own. Now, yeah, sometimes it's it's self-fulfilled prophecy. You know, I admit, sometimes I fuck myself over. I admit that. But this latest one, that was not my fault. It wasn't. I did nothing wrong. Yeah, I gotta pay the fucking penalty. Yet they can just get away with doing what they did. Which is just scumbaggery. It is. It's scumbaggery. Two months worth of freaking things are, are gonna pop in all at one time. And half of them should have already been dealt with. I mean, I could deal with like a, a two-week transition period of their uh, website. Like, if it had been one or two, it's like, okay, we're going to charge you from like, you know, one or two. I'm fine. I could deal with that. Even all September, I could deal with it. Their, their site was down. I could deal with it. Okay, it happens, shit happens, whatever. You know, take 60 bucks out of my account. It fucks me up, but I'm, you know... 60 bucks as opposed to like 200 you know to do to do to do, do five at one time at like 200 bucks that's bullshit that's just straight bullshit <sighs> whatever I'm, I'm done I don't want to talk anymore I'm I'm <sighs> I want to go out, I'm going to go outside and sit I think because Cousin Mary's rooting around on the stupid lawnmower she's picking up the leaves and dogs out there, and whatever, I just want to go outside right now, I, I, the idea that I actually want to get up and go outside, that should tell you how fucked up things are, but anyways, you know what, I'm going, fuck you, I'm done.